Greetings and welcome back to Smartwatch Ticks. Yep, this is the Finout X7. Wow, Android 7.1.1 uh, smartwatch with two buttons, beautiful screen, and lots of technology. We're going to take a deeper dive of this today, and let me start it out by mentioning the bands. I told you in the uh, overview that it was leather and that is true on the outside but on the underside it's a tpu silicone rubber whatever you like to call it it is um not pervious to water impervious that means that when you put this thing on you can exercise and sweat with it and have the leather remain dry Remain dry. You hear that? You don't want leather typically to get wet. It also means that this is not a fully waterproof watch, even though it looks like the bands are loose and could almost be removed, which they can't. There's wires that go into the antennas in the bands that run into the watch. Just don't dunk it in water, okay? It's probably splash proof, but that's about it. Now, as we begin, I want to mention. YouTube is a strange format. It lives forever, it seems to, and some of you guys, especially newbies here, may be watching this way into 2019, fall, winter, 2020, could be even 2021. But those of you who are up to date with us and watch this thing pretty much live, you watch Face Fanatics, um, you're watching it now, and this is in February of 2019. And there's some things I want to share with you as we get started with the deep dive in this watch. We're also going to take a look at watch faces. One of the most important things to share with you is that watch faces, as we know it, as we've experienced it, as we've enjoyed it, are going away. The Google G Plus community network, get that in the picture there, is um, unfortunately closing down the 2nd of April. If this is happening to you and you're watching before the 2nd of April 2019, then head over to any of these resources that have this little G Plus beside them and grab whatever watch faces you see because when the networks are closed down, all of that is going away. And we're going to have to rely on them finding alternate ways of expressing their work. And some of this work, especially these uh, group resources, where folks have been contributing for the last several years, we're probably not going to see them anymore. So just a word of warning, now's the time to do it. This document, so you don't have to type everything in, you can find this on our uh, resource center. Just go to tinyurl.com slash androidwatches, okay? And that'll take you right over to a, a nice big resource, and one of the documents is the sources for smartwatch watch faces and all these are clickable links okay also check the show notes if i have enough room i'll i'll put these or at least the, the g plus ones in the show notes for you as well so grab watch faces while you can because they're going to go away now speaking of watch faces what's this <laughs> it's not uh lettuce it's not cabbage i'll unwrap it in a little bit we have an unwrapping today and it has to do with watch faces okay i don't have that to touch but i have it to twist and it'll open up or i can push the button as a last result oh good at&t says everything is okay yeah i got a sim card in a minute i'm gonna play the video it's a short one that tests the 4g capability of this watch but before that i'd like to introduce you to somebody first i gotta get to the watch faces come on this is a stock watch face if you remember from the Cospet, Cospet? Hope uh, watch that we did a review on, we looked at some of the watch faces that were available when you went all the way to the end and hit that plus thing and downloaded from the server, and there was a huge selection of uh, World Cup 19 or 20, 2018 World Cup um, soccer faces from Russia. These are just a couple of them, and they were like gorgeous, but they weren't available anywhere. And none of the other watches, when you go to the plus sign, had them available for download. Well, <laughs> here we go, guys. Introducing Alex. 
Alex from Russia is a creator behind these watch faces, and I'm going to showcase him today. Let's move our little package out of the way and put the document down so you can see most of this. Um, he's an engineer by trade and, of course, a, an advocate uh, of uh, smart watches and smart watch faces, and he's uh, developed and competed with his watch face designs, of which these are some. Notice this is a Finau X7. And these are a couple of his uh, World Cup faces that are on here. Um, he was gracious enough to send me a couple of them so that I could show them to you today. And he also has a really cool design philosophy that I follow a lot. I like watches that you can glance at and see the time. Not where the time is hidden somewhere, really tiny, but is out there, big and ready. And so he's got a bunch of faces that are available for download. These are absolutely free. And um, I'm going to have you the, the link for you down here and also in the show notes to jump over. And I want to show you as we go through the deep dive into the X7, a few of his select watch faces. So we're going to combine a watch face review and premiere of Alex's work together with a deeper look of the X7. Let's start that part out. Now, we've already gone through here and showed you that we can get 4G connectivity. You want to see that little video clip first? Here's the data rates that I've been able to, um, to, to uh, capture in testing for an AT&T 4G SIM card in uh, the USA. So here's a look at the numbers I got when I ran the speed check on cellular close to my house. Now, I'm retesting it really, really close to the AT&T tower. This is where we would most likely see, and we are, an incredible high-speed connection. Download looking in the 30 meg megabits per second. What's that, about 31? And upload, way better than Wi-Fi at home, which is only 10. This one's getting... About 24, almost 25. So that's really good in speed check. So what you can see from that is that when you're close to the tower and you've got a strong signal, man, this puppy pumps. You get really good high connectivity data rates. However, when you drift away and you are less than three or four bars and it barely holds 4Gs or typically flips down to 3G, it drops off. You get down to about two, two and a half uh, megabytes per second up, down, average. You can do basic stuff, but you can't really watch video or do anything uh, screaming fast on it unless you're really close to the tower. That's true also of phones. The closer to the tower, you can get incredible data rates. However, um, when you're further away, because there's so much room for antennas and technology, you get much better connectivity from a phone than you will from a watch. So... They have 4G, but it's not on par with a phone yet. And that's the coverage of cellular connectivity. Let's look at a couple of more watch faces. I love this stuff. Here's similar to the other one, but now it's like got some patterns going on to it. Time and date. What more do you want? Russian? All right. <laughs> He's got them in English and Russian. I really, really appreciate the global nature of uh, what we do here and the internet and the vastness of YouTube's reach. Uh, many of you are multilingual. I'm English speaking, and I really applaud those of you who can dance in your native language and as well uh, work with us here in English uh, on, on this channel. Now, this one's a little bit funny. The, the, these, these curved lines are, are showing up here, and they're supposed to be out there. Um, but I've left them in here for you to see. Um, show you a few more. Here's where they're kind of bouncing. Uh, Alex is probably taking a look at this going, oh, no, don't show that. <laughs> but it adds an interesting flair to, uh, to the watch faces. Um, Here's another one like that with different colors. He loves to play with bright colors, large digits, and you get the picture. Um, there's another one with yellow, and, and you can see the layering of how they're in here because these things are kind of flipped around. Uh, I'm making a group of my favorites, and some of these are like really awesome. There's another. I like the uh, hands that he's using. All right, just a couple more, and then we'll move on. 
There, that's a nice one. We'll just leave it on that one for a while. Wow. These are also uh, power meters. He's got all kinds of different ways of showing the power on here. When we slide down, you saw that we're at 58%. And that's where we are right in here. His colors will show you that stuff. Okay. Engineering mode MTK. Let's move on. We're going to do a, uh, a look at the GPS. So when you go into here, you uh, this is uh, engineering mode MTK... Uh, there we go, uh, shortcut. And I go into location-based services and I get into GPS and I turn it on. Now you have to have set this up all ahead of time for high speed data rate and make sure your location services are on and all that's going on. When you do that, you activate GPS, you go to view, you get the satellites. Now look, we have all the different um, types of satellite systems out there. I'm going to switch her to GPS because we're here in the USA. And typical of all these watches, you don't get much signal indoors. Picking up a lot of satellites, but I'm not getting the GPS rate. I've noticed some of the small fitness watches are able to get it indoors and get it pretty quickly. But we're still faced with these bigger watches, uh, the Android watches, taking a while to hook up. So I'll be right back after I step outside and, and let this... I have no um, obstructions between it and the sky. Well, I can't show you much. I go outside and boom, they all go green down here. And a lot of them, uh, as soon as I walk back in, it, it goes down. Tells me the GPS is not that strong on this watch. If you're driving in a car, maybe you'll lock up, maybe not. Definitely indoors, you're not locking up at all. By the way, you can press and hold, change it to the square and all of these are potential antennas down here. Right now, it's not picking up any of it. But I was just outside, and it was all lit up with green. It does lock up GPS, but it needs a strong signal on the X7. Okay, and that's um, Engineering Mode MTK Shortcut. That's the app you look for to download. Let's get back to Faces. Take another look at a couple of more. Here's another nice design he's got the months around the outer ring he's got the time he's got the date and he's got the power level all of that easily visible and there's a second hand rotating too okay here's another one with battery level shown here and so forth i mean you can figure it out all right i'll move through them just want you to get a feel because all of these are available for you to download all of them they're all in zip file uh, they're not part of the G Plus network, so you won't run into the problem of it going away right away. Cool. And here's a nice digital one. Not only does he have all of these that he's put together, but referring back to his document here, he does custom watch faces. And he'll make something exclusively for you, which is fun. So I tested that out. I said, hey, Alex, I got something in here. You can see how it fits in. Let's do an unwrapping. I always do this when I go out. I am so hooked on watches that I'll see a pattern somewhere and I'll look at it and I'll say, wow, could that be made into a watch face? Let's see. Does it have a 12 and a 6? Does it have a 3 and a 9? That's kind of the first things you got to look for. So many of these just, they're off, you know, and you really couldn't use them as, anyway. This one really works nice. It's a mandala, circles within circles. Look at that. Beautiful. So I said, Alex, you want to have a go? You want to see if you can use that with your style of watch face creation? You want to see some? All right. After we do the N22 benchmark testing for this watch. I know some of you want faces. Some of you want tech specs. I got to make it happy for both of you. All of you. I hope it's more than both of you. <laughs> Here we are. We're going to do the Antutu test. It's uh, going to ask for permissions and shoot. Go away. Go away. A lot of you guys say, man, did you see the little ant crawling across? I give up already. Um, I'll set this all up and we'll run through the testing. Here we go. It starts out, of course, with this little 3D graphic test. And I like to show at least some of this. It's going to tell you some information about the screen. 
and then we're going to get the flow sequence. Oh, okay. This one is giving us this, uh, this animation. Wow. Nice. Now, you see it jerking a little bit. If you're playing a game, you'd say, eh, unsatisfactory. Can't work with that. Um, it's the blend of the processor speed and the available memory and the screen resolution and so forth. Most of the Android watches we've tested won't even play this 3D graphic. I'll put it that way. This one is playing it, but it's a bit sluggish, as you can tell. There's some audio going on in the background. I have the speakers turned down on here, so you're not hearing it, but uh, it's subtle. The colors really bloom nicely. The contrast is great. It says it's 1920 by 1080 off-screen rendering, but it's a 400 by 400 screen, right? Now, we switch over to the garden. That's usually what we see on most of these watches. It'll play this piece. 90% loaded. Ah, oh, come on. You can do it. We got people waiting to see more watch faces. There we go. Okay. Again, we're looking for smoothness of movement. Yeah. We've, we've seen smoother. We have indeed. Um, not sure. Not a lot of other stuff loaded in here. Oh, yeah. Look at it jumping now. You also look at the fade in and fade out, and sometimes you'll see little squares show up when it's not pushing the data fast enough. Anyway, it gives you an idea of the rendering. Now, that goes on for a while, but I'm just going to go ahead and skip ahead to the very end so we can see what the Antutu number is. Well, that's a surprise. That's almost 30,000. That's really high. Uh, with the sluggishness we were seeing in the 3D rendering, um, I'm a bit surprised. But, all right, it's coming in at a really nice high uh, Antutu report, which should mean good things to a lot of people, right? Okay, no more notifications. That's good news. The ambient display, which is turned on, and back to the watch faces. We were talking custom, right? Well, sent this an uh, image of this over to Alex. Let me show you. Let's scoot way ahead here. He's got a lot of great stuff. And get down here to... Wow. Oh, yeah. We'll come back and look at some of... Oh, yeah. Wow. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Okay. Okay. We're getting close. Here we go. Here we go. Are you ready? It's a Final X7, right? So, Final. And there's that image in the background. Can you see it there? Date, time... Battery power, Final, all of that good stuff. This was his rendition of it, and then I played with it a little bit. I mean, like, we're on the opposite sides of the planet, right? Well, morning for him, he's eating breakfast, and I'm having dinner. Um, can you see the background is rotating slightly now to the left? Yeah. I bet if I increase the brightness here, we're on the lowest brightness, you can see it a little bit better. Yeah. Okay. So we had some fun with that, and then uh, he added some boxes to highlight the, the date. And I added rotation to his boxes, and we just kept playing with this. Really fun guy, great, uh, easy to work with. If you, if you got an idea of a watch face that you'd like, now here, here you go. I don't know if this will show good on YouTube, but it really has an awesome 3D effect. That's some uh, enhancements to the, uh, the background. It's the same background, but color shifted somewhat, together with a whole different layout of the watch face. And then one more to show you, this one here, that he's done with the full um, background all the way to the edge. You can see the lines going up between 12 and 2.5 and, and 1 and so forth, or 5 minutes, so forth. Um, really, really nice. So just by way of summary, um, He's offering to do this if you guys are interested. Here's his email address. Uh, I think all he needs is basically a picture from you, what you'd like, and an idea of what you want it to look like. Again, his philosophy, on all these links here are going to be in the show notes. His philosophy is big, bold, and easy to read. Something that if you have it on, like so, and you glance at it, you can tell the time. Analog or digital. High contrast, easy to read. 
really nice uh, approach. Okay, what more? Let, let's look at some more stuff on the watch. Here's all the goodies for the technical folks. Uh, the AIDA 64 gives us insight into what's inside. It's Alps X7, an MTK, uh, yeah, 6739 processor, which is what's allowing us to do that ambient display thing. Uh, here's our available memory. Uh, we have a total of one gigabyte and almost all of it's being used right now of all these background things I guess I got running. We have 16 gigabytes on board of storage, 11 gigabytes uh, internal storage space. And after you subtract out the operating system, and then of course I got stuff loaded up. So still got over nine, gigab nine gigabytes, yeah, of space in it. Here's uh, more information on the processor, speed, clock speed and such and screen 400 by 400 AMOLED 1.39 inch the standard screen we're seeing on all these but again it's a big watch because we've got the screen on 1.4 we've got the bezel then we've got the edge of the metal bezel and it makes for uh, a massive watch I'm, uh, yeah it's a massive watch it's bigger than the um the earlier x5 series and such but it's got a lot of this other stuff going for it as well. Okay, what else have we got? Telephony, AT&T is in here, um, and so forth. Okay, and battery. Uh, what is it? 600 plus um, for the battery? Uh, it's a beefy battery. That's partly why it's so thick. So we should get good battery life out of it. However, and I remind you, I just don't have the time to do the battery testing on all these watches reviewing. Oh, isn't that sweet? Happy New Year, everybody. Now it's too bright. I got to tune it down. There we go. Uh, just not enough time to run these through the paces of several different iterations of battery testing. So we're really relying on you guys when you get these watches and use them for a while to give us a report back. Do you get six hours do you get eight hours do you get a day do you get a day and a half two days what's your actual usage of uh results from these watches that really really would help everybody including me because i really don't have a clue uh, unless i take one strap it on and use it for several days which i very rarely have the luxury to do that uh, then i'm not able to give you guys an honest answer about what kind of battery life we're going to get i can give you idea about it and some of the ideas are it's going to be pretty darn good because you got a big battery it's a big watch also back after the watch faces one more okay this is one of my favorites i don't know i don't know why i just really like it i like the colors i like the zigzag thing kind of reminds me of uh, aztec i guess or uh, it, it's a playful fiesta kind of a watch but it reminds me now, I was saying, of when we get into settings, 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 right here, okay? When we get into settings and we go into, first of all, into display, that you can conserve on battery by turning off the always on time, okay? If you don't need that ambient thing, change your sleep time down to as low as reasonable. 15 seconds, 30 seconds, if you're not engaged in your watch a lot, there's no need to have it on for two minutes if you're only glancing at it for four, you know, and actually touching the button causes it to light up and stay on for the duration of that sleep time. As opposed to twisting, it will light it up for a few seconds and automatically go out. But this sleep time has to do with when you actually activate it. you got the notifications to bright screen that means when you get a push from your phone it'll light up the screen to show you the notification if you don't need that feature turn it off that's going to save you a lot the display is always the biggest eater of power then you can get down in here in um way down here there's uh, oh yeah this is that quick sos thing in here uh that's unique that press and hold that will place a phone call and text and you get into here now and you see this background cleaner? This is serious stuff. When you have this turned on, and I'm, I'm really telling you, if you want long life out of these, and this is a new feature you're seeing in 7.1.1 Android watches, all of them, including this one, turn that on. And when you um, turn the watch off, it cleans everything in the background. 
Uh, it really does. And so it, it's not going to be using any power for anything. Um, that's good and bad. You know, if you've got things like Facebook pushes you're expecting to get or whatnot, uh, you're not going to get them if, of course, you turn off all of those apps. But it is available to you as a severe battery saver, uh, which is different than what we've seen in the past. Then this new thing called third-party app adapter, is, but this is turned on. It's going to show more content on your apps. That's, I'm deviating from power savings just to show you this. With this on, things like um, Chrome and other browsers and stuff that don't show you the whole thing on the screen and you can't quite scroll to get it, this will format it properly so you can actually read it. It's a little subtle tweak, um, but it's in here. So if you're ever having trouble reading or seeing a web page or a, an app, uh, display. Remember, you can, from the main screen, he says, press and hold and change it to a square or a circle to see everything. Okay. And what we just showed you in the settings, you can do as well um, in the more in the third party app adapter. We'll fix that for you. I tend to run with it off because I'm not having that kind of an issue on any of my stuff. Okay, a few more watch faces and we'll wrap it up. Come on back here. Oh yeah, it's not going to go into ambient mode because I turned that off. Let's see. Okay, here's another one. Again, uh, big, bold, time, date, and a fun little way of displaying seconds around the edges. And more and more and more. Okay, there you go. February 7th today, uh, font in dot. So... Alex, remember, you can pick up his watch faces, a lot of them for free right now. You can contact him to make your own. And um, he's the guy behind all those fancy uh, Russia World Cup faces that we saw on the, uh, the Hope watch from Cospet. Nice to finally put the connection together and meet the author of those. Wow, big day. You've been watching Smartwatch Ticks. We appreciate your subscription and being here. And remember, please remember, if you want watch faces from the Google G Plus communities, now is the time to get them. It's February. You've got until April 2nd to download whatever you want. Otherwise, you may have trouble getting it. Yes, of course, we'll let you know if replacement networks show up. Um, other locations than G+, uh, these things are migrated to and how you get to them. And we'll give you links in future videos about that. But that may not happen. I guarantee it's not going to happen for all of them. So these are okay. You're not going to have a problem picking these up. It's uh, right here at the download link. You see at the very bottom is where all of these faces came from, except the one we just been playing with, with our, our, our new little incense holder. And uh, the Russian um, World Cup uh, faces aren't there, but this one and all the ones you've just been, uh, been watching. For this watch or any Android smartwatch, they play on all of them, you can pick up from Alex's uh, download site. And you can see some of them on his YouTube page, too. They're little short clips of what they look like in motion. All right. Enough said. We will see you again soon. <laughs> Thanks for being here.